broadcasting from the Meredith Hall Studios out of Carson City, Nevada. You're listening to Covering the Field with Big Richard Martin, Gator Gates, and Joe the Answer Ellison. Welcome to Covering the Field. We're doing it again. I'm Joe the Answer Ellison. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm Joe the Answer Ellison. Well, you are on. Cornelius. Oh, that's right. I'm still <laughs> working my way up. There's, There's only a, one Joe the There's Answer only Ellison. one Joe, and Joe, you know. Uh, yes, okay. <laughs> Try to catch me off guard, why don't you? Well, guys, uh, as the All-Star break uh, begins Sunday, we've reached the halfway point of the season in Major League Baseball. It's time for a review, perhaps. Uh, time to predict what will happen for the rest of 2023. What do you think? Well, this is the segment we're going to call Call Your Shot. Let's call our shots, guys, and see who's going to make the playoffs. Jameson. Okay, wait a minute. We're not, okay. <laughs> not that kind of shot. Not that kind of shot, <laughs> sir. Uh, let's keep it real. All right, so I will give a bottle of Da Vinci wine, and that is from France, Joe. Oh, okay, sorry. of course it is. Uh, so I will, bottle, I will get a bottle of wine for any of you. That gets this right. So we're going to call it, call your shot. You got to call it. It's a sure shot. If you get a sure shot, you get 10 points. If you say semi shot, you get three points. If you say slight shot, you get one point. And if you say no shot and they make it, you get minus 10 points. All right. So we'll call it anyway. All right. So anyway, you get your four choices, what kind of shot you want to take. And we're going to start with the American League East okay. or National League East. I'm sorry. All right. The Atlanta Braves. Everyone knows they're the best team in the National League, and I think we're all going to say sure shot. Yeah, absolutely. Sure, sure, shot in. sure shot that they hit two home runs before we finish this show. Home run. Oh, yeah, they're still hitting home runs right now probably out there. Well, Atlanta is on my hot list. They uh, 9-1 in their last 10, and they're 17-2 and two in their last 19. Wow, that is amazing. And Probably that's not. somebody that has their plans on going to the playoffs. And I think it's pretty good. Let's talk about that Acuna Jr. Joe, do you got anything on him? Well, the first man in history to have 20 home runs, 40 stolen bases, and 50 RBIs before the All-Star break. That's pretty amazing. So 40 got, stolen bases. 41, to be exact. 41. He's going after Henderson's record. It's crazy. Yeah. I, mean, I, saw, gonna, I, saw, I think he I, might be on the 80-80 club. That might already be more than the leader of all uh, stolen bases last year. Hmm. The, whole I mean, that's, that's, the whole that's year. That's incredible, right? Well, there. I think that just definitely goes back to the new rule changes. Uh, obviously, that's, that's bigger okay. bases, and the pitchers can't throw to first more than twice. It, and it's I, helping. It is keeping it, it's keeping it fast and keeping the runners moving on the bases. Sorry. We're all sure on that. We're all sh- we're yeah. all going to say yeah. sure shot sure on that. Of course, we all are. Okay, let's talk about Miami, the team nobody's talking about. I mean, they are a respectable fifty and thirty-seven. They are the second best team in the National League. They're tied with Arizona, but I think they're going to win today. Let's get an update on that score. I had the uh, over on six. six, six, six. And the over was ten. So if you missed that, you got you went over in the first inning. So six our, in the sixth, that'd be awesome. Yep. So anyway, so anyway, so we got Miami. Am going to give them a sure shot? Yeah, uh, uh, I I can't. No, nope. I think they're going to minus ten. If you got a sure shot and you don't get it right. Yeah, I'm right. taking a sure shot. They're sure shot. Last they're, they're, they're you're saying they're, they're for real. Oh, yeah, they're 50-37. I just don't see them. They only got to win 36 games. 37. 36. 86 is the magic number usually. 86-87 in the new playoff format. I'm, with all these other teams, I'm looking at the standings. I'm going to say semi-shot on Miami for some reason. Then, Although uh, this I Rice kid is pretty amazing. Uh, batting 387 right now. He's fun to watch, but the whole team uh, together, I'm going semi. You're going to go semi. I'm going to go Gator sure shot. I'm like, I like Miami. I like the the Marlins out there in South South Beach, Florida. Let's take – I think they're going to be playing great baseball, and they're moving up. Cornelius, what do you got on them? You're going to give them – Well, I, I can't. I can't go with them. I think they're going to fizzle out. They're they're a hot team. And, you know, they, they got the – like Joe says, they have the player hitting 387. Uh, you know, take them out of it. Are they really that exciting? Well, exciting is not baseball's best category. I will say that it's usually that's why they're trying to get it done in two hours. So, but they are consistent. They're playing great baseball. They're they playing got great baseball. They man. got they've already got fifty wins, thirty six more wins. I think that's a given. That's a sure shot. I uh, I can't go sure shot because I think uh, I think Philly can leapfrog them. Well, let's talk about Philly, the defending yeah. champs. I think no one, can leapfrog. No one's talking about another forty nine no, and thirty five, just a game and a half behind those Miami uh, Marlins. You, what kind of shot are you going to give them? Slight. Oh, Gator's going slight. I'm going semi. 
they're, right, they're making the, they're making the playoffs. They're squeaking their way. You're in. saying it's sure shot. Atlanta's going to win the division. You're saying Philly's a sure shot. A uh, sure shot to make the playoffs? Yeah, because they're, they're going to leapfrog Miami, and then my Great long pitching. shot, by the way, that would be a shot in the dark, and they have to be over. Uh, my be my under- shot in the dark is going to be the Mets. Okay, well, they have to be. Oh, but well, they're going to talk about them next. The Mets. Dark last. Sure. <laughs> the 7 and 19 in the month of June, Mets with their $275 million payroll. Nobody listen to me right now about the Mets. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, hey, you're really taking the shot in the dark. <laughs> so he's giving the Mets a shot. I'm giving, giving the Mets a chance to make the playoffs. Are you yeah. going to go as high as semi? I uh, I can't go. You can't. You're semi. giving a slight. You're giving a shot in the dark. Sli- shot in the dark. Shot in the dark. Yeah. Shot in the dark. Believe me. Yeah. Gator, no you're shot. Off. No shot. He's saying no, no shot. shot. No shot. Not a snowball. Hell and chance. You know, you're, you're telling me that the 39 in San Diego, two highest payrolls. Can't even get to the playoffs. Money doesn't. And that's what I'm going to predict. Yeah. Money. Well, they're almost going to need probably, I would say, to win 48 to 50 games from here on. It's a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's Too a much lot. pressure. They can't handle the New York media. These guys are falling apart. So let's talk about Washington. Right. Washington Nationals. No shot. No, no shot. shot. No shot. No shot. No shot. Mm-hmm. Can we just move on? No shot. <laughs> we'll call those the No Shot Nationals. Yeah, next. No All, shot right. Nationals. All right. Anyway, let's talk about the Central. Cincinnati Reds. Oh, yeah. The big Red Machine. No, they're not. They're the big red e machine because they're more efficient. They're mm-hmm. electric. They have a new car smell. They are awesome. They're young. And they have probably one of the lowest payrolls in baseball, and they're leading their division. They're fun to watch. Fun to watch. Every time the Reds are on, I just I find myself watching them. Dela Cruz is amazing ever since they brought him up. Mm-hmm. But that team in general is just fun to watch. Don't turn the channel. They have thirty come from behind wins. So mm-hmm. even when they get down, look out. Mm-hmm. Look out. They always have. They are chance. efficient. The e machine, uh, but they have the. Fourth worst ERA in baseball behind who, Joe? Well, the A's have to be the absolute worst. Right. By who, Gator? Kansas City. Kansas City Royals, of course, and the third best worst team in baseball, Cornelius? I don't know. Colorado. Colorado. <laughs> Colorado. <laughs> what? <laughs> from Colorado. I don't want to say it. Yeah, they, you got to say it, man. I mean, they call them That's the Colorado Knockies, not the oh, Rockies. They're not the cool. runs all sorry, over against that business. The stadium is a bit of a disadvantage. You know, they do give up a lot of runs in that uh, both ways. They score a lot yeah. and give well, up. They give up a lot of runs on the road, too. So yeah, they're yeah. not much better on the road. Well, Cincinnati's yeah. in first place right now. So, but what about. So I, I'm going to give them a semi chance to win. I think that that fourth worst, uh, worst pitching is going to kill catch up to him. So I'm going to say I'm a semi. I'm not giving him a sure shot. You're going to give him a sure shot? I'm Mark? not giving them a sure shot because no, I'm no. Semi. Everybody's going semi on him? I'm, I'm in Milwaukee. Milwaukee. In Milwaukee. Milwaukee. I'm Milwaukee winning that division. So do I. I'm going to give him a sure shot. Milwaukee making it. Yeah. Every team a chance to win this division. Okay. So I'm so not going to have no any You're going to go five semis. All right. Pittsburgh, the Cubs, and St. Louis have a chance. They mm-hmm. have a chance. That's Just ridiculous. Of that. Joe, you're out of the show. The Joe, I mean, really, you cannot play <laughs> baseball anymore. We think they're Cardinals. What? This Turn horrible the, division. It's a, you could be below 500 and win this. You match. know, I down the street. The first one. Every yeah. game at the max, you can watch any baseball <laughs> game you watch. Once, just watch the Cardinals pitching. Just maybe <laughs> once, one saying, night. Yeah, they, 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 I could give you Pittsburgh, maybe, but uh, I can't give you Cubs well, or Pittsburgh. Cardinals. 40, 45. Everybody can give Pittsburgh. I'm gonna say no, no shot. No shot. I said slight. Slight. No, no slight. slight. No yeah. shot. Well, Everybody else. Look, Milwaukee's going to win yeah. the division. They're the better team. They're built for longevity. Cincinnati is going to make the playoffs some wild card ish, but no, they don't win the division. Anybody got the Cubs? Uh, the, level Cubs. the only person slight. that has the Cubs is a Chicago Cubs fan, and even them, they don't have them. Yeah, they're slight. done. No shot on the Cubs. No shot. Come on, guys. No shot on the Cubs. Yeah, is anybody going to take the Cubs on the shot in the dark? Uh, the lovable losers, come nope, on! Now. All right, going to be the like, lovable. I'll, 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 I'll take Pittsburgh. You're, the shot you're taking a shot in the dark. Okay, you know what? See, I can That's get behind the, Pittsburgh being a shot in the dark. Yeah. Yes, you know, they are yes. horrible. What are you but, talking about? They had a great May, and that was it. <laughs> but and I was just they're sorry, interrupted by Big Rich mm-hmm. here. Yeah, but sorry. but no shot. Sorry, no, I, see, I can see, slight. No, I'm sorry. Pittsburgh's not going to do nothing. They already did what they were going to do in the beginning of the season. Now it's done. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's go to the West. Because the like best it. is in the West. We all know that. All right. So, Arizona, the sleeper team, the Diamondbacks. You saw that. Oh, I think. No, I know. I could tell you who did. Rock and Ronnie did. He no, said that they were going to be right. a lot better this year mm-hmm. in the preview. Good yeah, job, right. Rock and Ronnie. Yeah. But I can tell you this. No one he picked 50 wins at the All-Star no. brand. I guarantee no. you that. 
But I'm telling you this, that they are winning and they're probably the most consistent team. And Big Rich is giving them a sure shot to make the playoffs. Excellent farm system, too. And, uh, yep, I'm think, thinking they're definitely in one way or sure. another, if not the division uh, wild card. No. So, sure. I don't got them winning the division. I'll give them a wild card chance. Yes, I will. You're going to so go semi. Sure. I'm going to go semi because I believe that, you know, the Dodgers are going to get hot. Uh, you know, yes, there's pitching issues there. The yeah. Giants also. They're 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 streaking. I mean, they're they're a grinding team. Like they can't score nothing in the first five innings, and all of a sudden they they grind it out at the, at the last four. But I, I don't know. Arizona- You're saying the Dodgers have a pitching problem issue. Well, That's yeah. like saying Hunter Biden has a tax issue. I'm telling you that they Dodgers have a horrible issue going on with their pitching. They've started three straight rookies. No one on their starting team. They're starting one. I don't think anybody's doing this. No. Uris was a bit. Uh, everybody on the no. five starting. Have been out this year. Yeah, I'm an IL. Every the, the bats, big rich. The bats are going to keep them in the game. Okay, that's well. You got so Freeman and Mookie how, Betts, of course. And yeah, uh, that's why I gave him Will Smith. Of course, is great when he's not behind the plate. He's DHing. Um, yep, sure. The bats are going to keep him in the game. Once he's hit a lot of home runs, bat two twelve again. But still, as I'm going to say this though, the Giants win the division. Okay. All right, so you're going to give him a sure shot. Giants, You're going to give a sure shot. Giants sure shot. All right, Bay Boy. I bet for sure you would think that they have a sure shot. Let's just go for the homer team and take San Francisco. But I do like San Francisco, too. I think that they have. Uh, they always come back. They have some great uh, chemistry in there. The young team, uh, the the, pit, the catcher, um, I think it's Bailey. Bailey, I mean, got totally hosed out of making the playoffs. I mean, the all-star game. I thought he's, he's batting over 300, and I think he's a switch hitter. Great hit right there. We got a we got a replacement for uh, Buster Posey out there in San Francisco. There's no replacement for Buster Posey. Okay, well I think we got somebody close there, Cornelius. I think we got somebody close. Switch hitting. Yeah, he's a great he's player. Helping. Yeah, he's having a great rookie year. The Giants are three and seven in the last ten games. Gator, what do you got? That's what I got. Who's hot? Yeah. Who's hot? I mean, I- yeah, exactly. The San Francisco, San Diego, and the Cubs from the NL are all three and seven, and uh, the Angels are three and seven. Or so yeah, they, they might not lose. Yeah, they got some, they got some injury problems there too. Anyway, so I'm gonna give I'm gonna give them a, a semi chance for San Francisco. I would like to see him win that because I have a ticket saying they would win the West. Um, mm-hmm. Would like to see it collusion, joke. collusion, collusion, embezzlement. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Dodgers. Um, Dustin May, you're talking about the pitching. Um, done for the season. Right. That's gonna hurt him. Kershaw, his arm's getting a little tired. He's not going to pitch in the All Star game. Ten wins already, though. Ten wins. Yeah, well, he's, he's, great. he's been amazing. Yeah, he's been great. But you know, they do have bats. Uh, obviously, Mookie bats. Uh, you know, eighth in history. Mookie bats. Leadoff, bats. Eighth in history and leadoff home runs now. So uh, I, I think I think that'll keep him in there. Isn't he doing the home run derby as well? Yes, he is. I don't understand why, but um, why not? Why not? His wife talked him into doing it. it was, for whatever reason. Thank you, Mrs. Betts. Yeah. We'd love to see a Dodger in there. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the Padres. That's not. Oh, no one wants to talk about the Padres. Especially <laughs> oh, they're they're Padres done. fans. <laughs> the Padres are a lot like the Mets. Spend yeah. all this money, have all these big-name players, and yet can't get out of their own way. What is up with San Diego? Padres, Chargers. I mean, they just – they have players. They have good talent. Chargers were so bad, they moved to L.A. The fans wouldn't even vote for a stadium for them. It was ridiculous. So just, and now the yeah, Padres – Terrible luck. Yeah. No, no chance. I absolutely, you're saying no chance, not no a snowball chance. chance. They're no. six games out of the wild card. They're gonna do what the Philly, Philly, and Phoenix Suns do in NBA. They're gonna find a way to lose because mm-hmm. that's what they do every year. Yeah, okay. I, I can't, can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Colorado's done too. Call Padre a Padre, I guess. I, what do you do? It's the Colorado of the conversation. Well, we don't even want to talk about yeah, it because they're, they're the knockies. They get knocked around. Their pitches get knocked around every day. So anyway, all right. But okay, my shot in the dark is San Diego. I'll say that that will be my shot in the dark. San Diego will make the playoffs. A lot of talent out there, even though they just cut Hall of Famer Nelson Cruz, big yeah. Hall of Famer, just cut him. He only had five home runs all year. He wasn't doing anything. Um, he's old anyway, right? He's, he's like, forty-three, yeah. Yeah, forty-something, forty-three. Right. Oh my God! Well, he's done. Yeah, put it for you. And baseball years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, St. Louis is my way out on a limb. Shot in the wow, dark. You, way out. You better get out of the room now. Might as well just take the A's, too. Yeah, I, I, I mean, the... my shot in the dark is the A's now. <laughs> okay, the, you most, St. Louis. the most realistic, realistic one. You know, I'm gonna go my shot in the, the dark. It's Pittsburgh. My shot in the dark is the Reno Aces. Oh, exactly. yeah. yeah, you want to go? Well, out they're all playing for Arizona right now, so yeah, triple yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A team out there. Yeah. Yeah. My shot in the dark, and again, I'll say this is the New York Bets. Okay, they right. make the you playoffs somehow. That's is your bets. 
And I'm going to take the Padres. I mean, I don't, they got to do something out there about all that money. Uh, I think Especially they're going to hit. Joe and I take Pitt. You guys are taking the, the Pirates. Uh, it's the most logical one, but I'm going to put St. Louis down right. because of that. Oh, I kind of get, get him a chance. Can see. Oh, <laughs> hey, you threw him a lifeline. I tried. All right, let's move to A. Let's move right along. Yeah. Tampa Bay. Anybody got Tampa Bay making the playoffs? Oh, Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we were all sure yeah, about that. Let's sure. move on. Let's move on. <laughs> Tampa Bay, great pitching, great hitting. Yeah. Uh, Baltimore. They've been six, four, Zim six in the last ten, kind of fading a little bit. Seems Zim like, uh, you know, they're playing a little bit better than their, you know, their experience and their talent right now. Even though they have a lot of great young talent, um, it, 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 it's really impressive. Uh, I got Baltimore is a sure in there. It's just amazing that they could have the second lowest payroll next to the A's and be this good. And Tampa Bay, the fourth lowest. I'm going to give them some extra respect. I got them both. Sure, at least making the playoffs. Well, yeah. if, sure. Baltimore, if Baltimore makes the playoffs, Joe, then what? No, no Yankees. Um, one of these no Yankees, uh, Toronto, yeah, Toronto, Boston will Astros. not make it. And they will. Well, Boston's saying three out. teams, yeah. Boston's well, out. The beast man. of the East. Well, they're 43 and 43. They have a shot. But okay, well, they, Tampa Bay's going to win the division. Uh, in the central, you know, one of them will win the division. And then the west, one of them will win the division. Then you got the wild cards. Three wild cards. Uh, you're telling me um I'm concerned about the Yankees. I don't think they make it. Um no. Aaron Judge. You gotta have Aaron Judge on that field. He has and a toe injury that you know, yeah. did he stub his toe at Dodger Stadium, I think, or something like that. He stubbed a toe or a, yeah, he or, ran into the ran, fence. Ran into the fence and and the fits actually beat him. Actually won. Uh but anyway, he stubbed his toe on a padded fence. Come on, Aaron Judge. Tape it up, rub some dirt on it, get uh, out there. But he's talking about season and injury. Oh, he could just he can, DH the whole time. If he, he gets surgery, he's going to be he he's not going to play. The field or run the bases. And then there goes the Yankees' chances. Yeah, Big exactly. There they go. Okay, and it doesn't look good. So I've got, uh, I've so got. I, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go semi. I guess. I don't know. You got a little German just pitching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got some good pitching. Yankees are seven. Oh, he got blown up the other day, though. Because he came back from that perfect yeah. game and he got just. just he wasn't so perfect the next oh, day. He was he terrible. Blown he up the two <laughs> games before it, too. Exactly. But, uh, well, let's talk about the Yankees pitching. Back. We got Jimmy Cadero suspended for the whole 2023 season for joint domestic violence, sexual assault, and child abuse policies from the Major League Baseball. You're That's out for the rest good. of the year. Those charges are pretty serious and probably could get you killed in most penitentiaries. Mm-hmm. So I would say uh, Jimmy Cadero get your life in order. Yeah, yeah. I would say the same thing. Maybe that was a triple header. You know, didn't sound good. Well, well, is it joint? So he had somebody else uh, helping him? No. Yeah, yeah. It was a, it, it by himself. It was a team do- domestic. I don't know. Maybe it, with the child kids. abuse, him and his wife beat up the kid. Oh. I have no idea. It could be something of that part. But they have a clown truck right there, man. Get rid yeah, of him. Yeah. Get rid of him. You don't need him in your locker room. Uh, Jimmy, get with it. All right, so we got to talk about Mike Trout's injury. Hook up with John Moran, well, and you guys could do counseling together. Well, I think we should uh, finish off that division first and get okay. to the Angels. I mean, Toronto, I've got getting in. Uh, I think they get uh, uh, they get past uh, the Yankees because of the judge injury. I just did. Yeah. And uh, I got Toronto making the playoffs. They're a semi-shot, though. Semi. There's a that's lot of good semi. teams. That's, yeah. a, that's a definitely a wild-card team. Yep. Um, but they're 11 uh, games off the pace with Tampa Bay, but that's why you can't say sure. That's why I didn't, yeah. I, I can't, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, think I like, like Toronto, but I can't, I can't be sure of them. We're gonna all go semi on that, semi. Semi. yeah. I'll go semi. What about Boston? They're not, they're out 43 and 43. I yeah. say semi, I don't like I'm them. Going to give them a chance, too. I give them, I they're out, not a snowball chance in hell uh, from Carlos. I mean, from Cornelius, yeah. <laughs> not a snowball chance in hell from Cornelius. So, okay, Boston's out of there. All right, so let's of course go. They have a show. Oh, I just offended everybody in Beantown right now. Yeah, you can All send right. your hate mail to yeah. us. Can everybody take a big yawn? Oh, no, we're talking uh, about the A's. No, we're talking about the American <laughs> League Central. Uh, <laughs> Central, isn't that funny? Both Central, huh? both Centrals are eventually uh, very boring. Central Minnesota is leading by a half a game or one full game over Cleveland, uh, forty-four and forty-three, forty-two and forty-three. So. Uh, Minnesota has the number one best ERA in baseball, so they have some good pitching oh. out there. So you got to give them a chance there. They have the 22nd uh, run scored per game. 
Cleveland is sixth in the year, right? So they pitch well out there in Cleveland also, but they are 27th in runs scored per game. But you got to put sure on both of those. Big Rich you can't put sure on. Only no. one's going to win. No, but you said Gator, you got to make up your mind. Okay. Oh, so they're 42. They're the they're way off the wild card. Oh, right? Who are you going to ask to the prom? Her or her? You can't ask them both. Now, there's only two teams in this division that have a chance to win this division and make the playoffs at all. Cleveland, Minnesota. And they're Every- both going to make it. Everybody else. Not, are you kidding me? That there's no way. You gotta pick one girl to take to the prom. You cannot. Yeah, this is not a dual prom date. There. I don't know what kind of society and, you live yeah, in. Forties. Oh. They don't even have a winning record. Take it's, them as your shot in the yeah. dark if you want to take them. You guys are so, you guys are saying that three teams out of the East are going to be made in the playoffs. I think yeah, last year. I think only one team. I think two yeah. teams are going to be out in the playoffs in the East. Two teams out of the uh, Central. Central. Well, then it's Minnesota and Cleveland. Two teams out of the. You're in the minority on that. I, I, I think. I think you're. You need to get out of the room with Joseph. Uh, okay, if they both make it, you get two bottles of Davinci wine. I'm talking right out. I'll uh, double you up. I'll double you up. Man. I that two, one of you and Lady Gator can have one. Minnesota or Cleveland bottles. is going to win the division. I believe it's Minnesota. And there's no wild card. There's no other team out of that division. Yeah, it could be if Minnesota you, or Cleveland. You win the division, and yeah. you're in. No wild card out of the division. I'm, Don't say and that. when I get both girls, and then I can show them off. Oh, okay. Well, all right. There. I actually get you're gonna Detroit. have to move to Utah with two girls. Oh. <laughs> I actually give Detroit and the White Sox a slight oh, chance. Oh goodness! Because you're trying to get out of the <laughs> this division is oh horrible. my goodness. Yeah. Well, I mean, everybody has a chance, but they're 37 and 47. Ten games well, below 500. Hot. Minnesota you're, and you're gonna have to get ten games semi shot and Detroit and Chicago White Sox. Minnesota, like, you, but the only way I agree no with shot is on the no Tigers. Shot. No shot no on shot. the White Sox and no shot on Kansas City. No, no shot, shot on all three of those. All right, yeah. no shot. No shot on all three of those. Yeah. All right. Sorry, Detroit, Chicago, and Kansas City. No shot. White Sox surprisingly bad. I thought they were gonna be yeah. good this year. Look, look, the, the race two years they've been picking yeah. The race is Minnesota and Cleveland. And yep. you only get into the playoffs unless you, if you win this, they might have a losing record and get into the playoffs. Well, they might. That's what gets they might. Detroit and the White Sox a shot. No, it does. they don't. But they're ten games below five hundred. Well, they got to get hot. <laughs> they got to get hot. All right, anything can happen. We're only in, uh, you know, we first week of good. July. A lot of things can happen. As you remember, last year Phillies were below five hundred and they came back and got strong. So, Joe, I'll give you that. Okay, let's move to the uh, let's move to the AL West. Uh, yes. Texas. Hey, Texas. Nothing, hey, it's a it's a Texas AO West, isn't it? You got yeah. Texas and Astros, right? It's, it's yeah. gotta be. It's, they just got all this Chapman from KC also to bolster that bullpen. Uh Texas looks really strong. Uh that's a sure one. Bruce Boshi has that okay. team on point, right? I will now. tell you this, Chapman, sink or swim. He has thrown the fastest pitch in Tennessee volunteer history. <laughs> Oh, sink or swim. I'm going to go swim. Well, for one thing, I didn't think he went to. No, it wasn't Tennessee. It oh. was. Oh, see, I remember. <laughs> it was Tennessee. It was Tennessee. Uh, it was Tennessee. Get the so, producer on it. It was Tennessee. Oh. No, I did swim. I made it. I don't remember him on Tennessee, but uh, I'm going to say no. Somebody else came around and threw a faster pitch than I think it was. I think it was. I think he threw like 105 miles an hour. No, I'm going to go that he, he was the. Yeah, he, he was, was the uh, he, he was the fastest. He was the fastest. Yeah, he threw the fastest one. I think it was like 105. Oh, okay. Well, I, I sank with that one, I guess. But uh, anyway, speaking of bubble, Houston, there's a bubble team. Um, how good are they going to be? I mean, they just won the World Series last year. But I, uh, I'm giving them a good semi shot of getting in, and I'm going to pick them to actually make it into the playoffs. Who is that? Houston. Houston, yes. Of Texas, for sure. Houston's a semi, but I've got them getting in. Doesn't Houston always make it in, though? Oh, like, yeah. Aren't they always in the race at the yeah. end? They're finally going to get there. I'm they gonna were, have... Well, they were cheating for a while, but now they're just playing by the rules. They say they are anyway. No, All I'm right, so they're for sure they're shot. Deep. Everybody give Astros a sure shot. Two I, East he's a semi. get in and two West Joe's got get a semi. In. Yeah, semi. Semi. All right, what about the Angels? I'm going to give the Halos, like I said, Mike Trout, hand injury out four to six weeks. I'm giving them no shot. That, that really a no is. shot from the Angels. You're going to go with the Central. Magic you're going to go with out. Cleveland over the Angels. Okay. I'm going slight. Um, obviously, Mike Trout out four to eight weeks with a wrist injury. Uh, that's not good. Shohei's not going to pitch the All-Star game. I guess he's going to pitch uh, coming up soon, so his arms must be getting a little tired, I guess. Uh, but, uh, uh, he's he had a blister on his finger. He pitched uh, actually pretty well. Blister. He, he pitched pretty well. He, he was a uh, well. He had like five scoreless innings, and then okay. he always has that one inning where he gets rocked, and you know. So uh, we got to know what know, know when he's when he's tanking out. He really does. Even the A's, well, the, the, the A's tanked you know, him. The record's good enough for the Angels. You can't 
totally count them out. So I'm going to oh. say slight chance. Slight chance. What about yeah. Seattle? 42 and 42. That's my dark part. That I got to give them a slight chance too. I give Seattle a better chance than the Angels. Me too. Wow. Well, yeah, I, the Angels people. do not make the playoffs. They will find a way. They're like the Phoenix Suns and the Philadelphia Sixers. They will find a way to lose. No, if it's like the pod race, find a way to lose. If you guys are saying that only one team's going to make it from the Central, then I'm putting Seattle in there. Ooh, okay. Whoa. We're going to give them a semi chance. Semi chance. Bouncing up to semi shot. Well, they're uh, supposed to be really good the way they finished the season last year. And they've they do got some good slow. pitching. I mean, they should be better. Kirby than made the All Star uh, game, so I mean, he's definitely pitching well. Yeah. The A's are so, 24 and 63, Joe. Uh, I give them no shot. Shot in the dark? No, no. Uh, well, no. They're below, below zero. And they're only 10 games above, uh, below the. Dude, below the Cardinals. They're only 27 and a half games yeah, out. But, yeah, but we're getting into it's some gonna real be easier to get in. We got some real baseball players. Look, man, now. Texas wins the division, Houston makes the playoffs. And below, they all love Seattle. They five hundred. It's got to be like Boston, Seattle. Seattle seven games Cleveland. off the wild card pace. Yeah, they don't get in. I'm sorry, Seattle fans. You guys don't make. And Cleveland's below them. Yeah, <laughs> well, half a game below them. Texas and Houston. Those are the two teams that come out of the, this division, make the playoffs. Seattle, good run. You'll get it together. Young team. Julio Rodriguez is amazing. Build and keep building. You'll be there. But no, it's not. Seattle's out. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you. I think I think you said the Blue Jays will jump above them. And get I them love over. Toronto more yeah. than than Seattle. Absolutely. Okay, well that was our baseball segment, fellas. For that, let's move on to the All Star game. All right. Well, um, let's see here. We did our pretty much our uh, hot knot, so we should get to the All Star game. That's uh, Sunday is when the break begins. Uh, we're in Seattle, and Monday is the home run derby. Um, we should talk about that first. Who's participating? Uh, Cody Jr.? Uh, no. No, my well, not. Is he going to steal bases? Is he going to do anything out there? No. Oh, they should have a steal the base segment. Uh, Juan Soto won last year. He doesn't seem to be in the lineup yet. Uh, there were seven that have already been uh, figured out who's in. He was Luis... on the Nationals last year. He's playing for the, the helpless yeah. Padres. Right oh, now. poor Padres. Luis Robert. You, you know, of course you know Luis Robert from the White Sox. Sure, no, everybody, oh, knows. Yeah, everybody yeah. knows him, right? I mean, yeah. so neat. <laughs> Adley Rutschman from As Baltimore. Yeah. Up now. Yeah, he has, <laughs> hey, he has 11 home runs and he's in a home run derby. How do you pick yeah, that, that guy? Like Randy Rosarina from Tampa Bay. Man, yeah, yeah, he's good. Okay. Yeah. All right. okay. We'll see him. Okay. All right. Uh, now we're going to get into some uh, decent guys. Mookie Betts. Yeah, we know who he is. What a surprise. Uh, he's... he's I guess Does Mookie Betts really have a chance to win it? I say no. I He's just no. trying to make his wife happy. He, she asked him to do the Smart man. home run derby. And so he's Good for him. Can't be sleeping on the couch. He hasn't done. <laughs> it's one more thing to check off the list of things to do. <laughs> Good job, Mookie. I, did, I right. keep class, but I do it right. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I like that one, Joe. Now, now we're getting a little stronger here. Um, and uh, what, he came in second, uh, was it? 2019, I believe. Mm-hmm. 2019. Yeah, one behind, yeah. Joe. Are there any 91 odds? home runs? 91 home runs. Are there any odds yet for the uh, big no. home run derby? No. We haven't seen them. No, we, we got to wait till them. Sunday, it looks like. Ah. And uh, Julio Rodriguez. Love that. Seattle. Love him. Uh, he He's a home team guy. Home yeah. team guy. I love him. He almost won it last year. Uh, he went to the final. Mm. So he we hit like how many home runs did he hit in the Boston Soda? Yeah. He got tired. Yeah. Ran out of steam. Uh, Pete Alonso, here we go. Oh, New York Mets. He won in 2019 and 2021. He's he's motivated because he will be the only other three time winner besides Ken Griffey Jr. So uh, that's uh, you know something to shoot for. Heck yeah. Well, 2019, 2021, 2023 would be next. And um, okay. yeah, there he is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the last the last ten years. We got Juan Soto, Pete Alonso. 2020 was canceled. Yeah. Pete Alonso, Bryce Harper, it's about, yeah. Judge. Yep. And then you know that's 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 like the last five six years right there. Yep. And we only have seven competitors so far that I've seen. I like. I don't know who the eighth one is going to be, but assuming he's not going to be any well, good someone, as these guys, it should be someone from the A's. Oh, so sure. I love um I love Gators pick though Guerrero. I think he is someone that people are overlooking. Mm-hmm. I think so too, Joe. 
Or I think okay, it's so it's Lewis Robert Sorry. Jr. who's playing for. Uh, I call him Robert. Robert, Robert but it's Robert Jr. He is a, he is a good player for uh, the White Sox, Sox, but he has to start off against Rutschman. That's the seed. Alonso's going against Julio Rodriguez. Mm, right off the bat. Right off oh, the that's bat. Horrible. Wow, we're yeah. going to eliminate. Yeah. Right <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why, why do we have these two lousy guys yeah. going up against each other? Well, well, how would you do that? Then you got well. That's just the luck of the draw. I mean, oh. Mookie Betts. Versus Vlad Gamero. So we know Gamero's going to get to the yeah, second round. Yeah, got that. And then you got uh, Adolis Gar- Garcia. Oh, oh he's yeah. the last one. And then okay. he's playing Randy or Ar- Rosarena. And he just got in today, then, yep. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Um, so find that's else. that's the brackets. Find, they're pretty desperate. Well, I got to go with Alonzo personally. A lot of ale. Is so it, Lewis Robert Jr. has 25 home runs when the Z's were set. Okay, so here are the odds for Nobody 2023. Knows. Oh, Nobody you got it. Is. Is. Pete Alonso is plus 250. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Guerrero, Guerrero's plus 300. Julio Rodriguez plus 300. Mookie Betts plus 500. Uh, Rich, Richmond plus 800. So the first and three is pretty good. Randy hits. plus 800. First uh-huh. three is the best way to go. That's yeah. all they have so far. You got to go with the top three. Alonso, Why don't you take Guerrero, that not to not win? Well, can you parlay that? Yeah. <laughs> can you parlay like six of them? So, I think minus eight, uh, eight, eight to one odds. You could parlay that uh, Mookie Betts. Parlay all the guys That's perfect. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take Mookie Betts not to win it. <laughs> what do you have to bet a hundred bucks to get eight back? <laughs> well, minus eight hundred. No, it shows a uh, yeah minus eight hundred. Oh, and here's here's what this article is saying. They got Guerrero. As the best value pick. Uh, there you go. I, I mean, suppose. seriously, why 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 can't you win it? I think uh-huh. everybody's overlooking it. I mean, everybody's because picking he's on up. pace for only twenty-five homers this year. He has. You get three to one odds. It's not too bad. Yeah, that's not. Bad. That's probably the best odds. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. All right. Well, um, we've all made a pick on the uh, home run derby, but uh, Tuesday, of course, is the actual game itself, the All Star game. Uh, do you have any predictions about the game? Uh, American League versus National League. Take the over. <laughs> Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm just gonna, glad that they're not picking like they did in basketball. LeBron picks people and Kevin Durant and picked Durant. the other one. That's, That's horrible. So ridiculous. Yeah, it's so ridiculous. At least they're keeping some kind of I think baseball is the only all star game that really, really matters. I it think is. It, it is. Of all of them. Yeah. I agree. It's the one that's truly played by the rules and nothing's different. I mean right. NBA is the same rules, but they don't it, play defense. They don't play, play defense. Yeah, it's a, it's a joke. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a sink or swim on this. During one time there used to be Two All Star games at halfway part and at the end of the part. Sink or swim. Well, there, oh, okay. I got to go swim. There was a time where there were two All Star games played in the same year. Yeah, I got to go swim. Back right around 1960 or yes. so. Yes, it is definitely a swim. Good job there, Joe. So Joe gets an extra point because he got the date right. He got the answer right. I get, right, <laughs> and I get it, like only one. The gator three. just the Gator just nodded. Yeah, he's <laughs> You're like, like grandpa over there just not man. You're you not want to swim swimming. You're, you're just, just he's, there you guys are right. You're just holding yeah, there was at one time because you it does because at mid season some of these guys won't have the best record. You look but at that, but that's but there. that's when the all star games, not in all this all of them was how well you did in the first half of the season. Right. And then how you did well in the second the half of the season. Exactly. This, and now what is it now? Now we've got a I don't know. Contest. Yeah, it is. Well, baseball is just not as popular as it used to be yeah. anyway. No. Back in the, you know, the 50s and 60s, it so was not American the game. So it's not I mean, same. what do you do? Play the All-Star game with guys who didn't make the playoffs? Or you wait well, you the playoffs are over I, and then do the All-Star game? I personally don't care. I don't care to watch it. The that's home run true. derby, I'll, I'll watch. That's exciting. Um, the oh. game itself. Uh, that's a good point. I wonder if the ratings are better on the home run derby. I would say. Run, I, I would better say. Yeah, you can bet better. Yeah. Better better chance to bet than bet on. Miraculously or nationally, never know who's going to pick. I think it's but, better to watch personally. Yeah, everybody's going to get more. Everybody's gonna unless get you have more. Pete Rose knocking somebody out coming around. That's back in the old days when Ray Fossey gets oh, knocked right. out. Yeah, and that's they were trying exciting. back then. Yeah, yeah that's exciting. Took pride. So, so what, Cornelius, do you like the over? I like the, the over. Uh, Gator, I like the National League, and I know the stats don't show that, but I'm going against those stats. Okay, I'm going to take the under because just like you were, I think you had just uh, I've got some stats yeah. right here. I got to share with you guys. So Break it down. It's uh, you know All Star games. It's a game of streaks. I mean, uh, go back to '88. American League wins six in a row. '94 to '96, National League three in a row. '97 to 2009, American League twelve in a row. Plus, we had the famous dreaded tie mm-hmm. in 2002. That's right. Uh, then the Nationals won three in a row, 2010 to 12. And now American League has currently won nine consecutive All-Star games, 2000, 2013 to So how could you go against the American League nine in a row? Easy. Uh, and the game was canceled in 2012. Just give the writer the number. <laughs> so, I mean, I like the American League to win again. I mean, that's a game of streaks. What can I say? 
So uh, just take the oh, over. Just, okay. Well, well, it just matters, <laughs> matters if they have trash cans in the Astros bullpen. We have to look at that because they might have wires. Well, Cornelius, as far as the total is concerned, uh, I expect the over and under to be what eight, eight and a half. I would assume at least. Okay, nine possibly. That would be really nice the way I'm going because going back to 2008, only two of the 13 games have scored more than eight runs. So that's 11 of eight and under in. Only two. So you tell me you're putting all these all stars together and they can't score any runs. The pitching, pitchers don't last. Well, the pitchers only pitch one inning. Yeah, they pitch one inning in the round. The route. pitching, the pitching dominates the hitting in the all star game. Okay, I'm going to go against that trend this year. Okay, so I'm going American League and under. I'm, I'm going National League and over. I'm taking the under. All right, all right. Let's move on. Thank you to Rocky and uh, Rock and Ronnie McKinnon for good job. Rock some of those Ronnie. stats, I really appreciate it. Gator, let's shift over now to NASCAR. Chicago. Yeah, uh, okay. What happened last week uh, in the streets? Well, the race. Fast and Furious, right? Oh, Fast and Furious, sure. But the race was scheduled for 100 laps, but the rain uh, delayed the race for more than 90 minutes. It was uh, shortened to 78 laps. But Chevy had even money to, uh, took the top five, Joe. I was trying to go against them, but. Chevy so dominated. it was supposed to be 100 they laps, dominated. and they made it 78. 78. Yep, correct. Yep. Now, um, why did they do that? Because it was raining. No, because <laughs> it, was it was getting dark. It was, it was getting it was dark. It was getting dark. Rain and darkness. Yeah. Well, the rookie, the rookie Shane uh, Van Gisberg. Yeah. He went at forty to one, Joe. Now he is a New New Zealand driver, and he became the first driver to win a Cup, Cup Series debut since Johnny Rutherford won the second qualifying race at Daytona in nineteen sixty three. So a long time, Joe. And I was on the sand. As no, I don't know. Not, not that. Uh, that it, might have been, it might have been. It might have yeah. been the road race. That might be the other road race. Everybody should remember Johnny Rutherford from winning the Indianapolis 500. 500. That's yes. right. Yes. But he's Street race, see. guys. It was in the city of Chicago, downtown. I mean, just yeah. like hanging out. You got the buildings everywhere. They closed off the streets, uh, you know, put the little tires there when people are making these terrible turns. And what do you guys think about the fact that it was in the city streets? I liked it. I wanted to, I wanted to see a street course, uh, at least to experiment with it at least one time, just to see how it would work. And it seemed to be a positive uh, experience. I got to disagree with you. I, I go with the opposite. I didn't like it. Mm. I felt like it, it was too slow, and it was just they had the, the when they had the restarts. They were single file restarts, so right. it wasn't fair. Uh, people were sliding into those tires, which no one was wrecking when they were sliding because they were like bumper cars. They were just bouncing out and keeping going and. Anyway, that's my guy. Yeah, I, I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't like it. it I, I think that it's not NASCAR. NASCAR should be on a NASCAR track. Not the street thing was just. It, you it don't like cool. road courses? You're okay with road courses, but not street courses. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. I don't like it. I, okay. I thought it just took away from the road system. course. Two weeks ago in Sonoma, and then they throw this down our throat. Yeah, give us a little time in between. Let's see some real break. They, yeah, exactly. Back. Something you might want to add there, Gator. I have a few things. Um, um. Yeah. It, well. Okay. This is what I want to add. There was a a big pile up with uh, on the fiftieth lap. There was fourteen cars that were involved, and this was right at the turn from Michigan Avenue right on to East Jackson Drive. But when that happened, the locals um, and you can see it on their faces that knew the area had the smirk on their faces, Joe. Like they. Didn't, didn't phase them that there was a pile up at that because they knew it was going to happen. Because they knew it was going to yeah, happen. That's why I say I don't like it. It takes away from NAS NASCAR speed, is it not? Mm -hmm. I mean, what are we doing here? Like, might as well just get go-karts well, out there. I will say it was interesting. Uh, track house racing, first of all, won back-to-back -back races. Mm -hmm. uh, only seven rookies have won their very first race. This guy is from New Zealand. He actually drives on the other side of the car. Right, Normally, exactly. for him to win is pretty shocking. Uh, but anyway, and, well, if you look, he had the third best uh, qualifying time, so it shouldn't have been that shocking. Shouldn't forty have to one, he forty to one, but he had the third best time. Yeah. Chris Bell was obviously had the best car. That's maybe my, my preclude to my got hose section. Um, he had the fastest car when he was out in front. He was running the speed, but trying to make up speed on that road course, you couldn't. You, you, can't, you, can't, you, can't, you can't make up. You, you can't make up. If you, where you're at is usually where you're going. And you called it like uh, on, uh, on, on the restarts, Ooh. single file. I mean, that's because it was raining. Yeah. Okay. Normally, if it wasn't raining, they would have they would have gone away. side by side. That's right. But it was like, oh, they would have. Guys, I didn't like it. I mean, it was okay. cool. Okay, we experienced it. Now, can we just forget about huge, it and go back to NASCAR racing? Huge upset. Well, let's talk about it. Later. Yeah. Well, that poor guy. Uh, we should mention uh, 
unfortunately, Dwayne Tabinski got electrocuted and uh, died. He was working on the track. Yeah, that was on Friday. So, so. Yeah, yeah, our, sound our condolences. So let's just give him a moment of silence just for the family, friends. So what do you think about this week at Atlanta? Well, okay. Um, usually the Fords do really good there, right? And Blaney, if you're looking at the Fords. But I'm going to go with Kyle Larson, uh, Chevy's. Okay. We got, we got speed back? Okay. Yeah, we, okay. well, you know this. Well, uh, it's going to be fairly fast. Uh, well, March 19th, right. they raced there. On March 19th, they raced at Atlanta. since so their second time yeah. here. Joey right. Logano did win. Um, and Kozlowski was, uh, was leading 42 of the laps, 47 mm-hmm. of the laps. And Logano got him on the last lap. But Logano... Uh, he led 140 of those laps, so yes. that's something to look at. Like you said about the Fords, looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna think Bush. Okay, Kurt Bush. Yeah, he won. He won in I think a couple years ago. Yeah, he, a couple years ago, right? and he came in. That's who I'm rooting for. And he came so, in third. You can't jump on my bandwagon. <laughs> it's your own driver. I'll pick Chase Elliott because he is so desperate to win. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. win yeah. Desperate to get into the playoffs. Now, I'm just gonna throw one thing out there about William yes. Byron and watch the if he gets the number one pit stop. He is a second or a second and a half faster than everybody. His picture is a second or a second and a half. And when he gets that lead pit stop, it's a big advantage. Yeah, you know, I like stage. watching when they do the pit stops, yeah. how quick they are. And right. like seeing the little clock there and just everybody's moving and uniform. Now you got to get Jiffy Lou to do it. Man. Have you watched the Formula One race? Two seconds. Yeah, and two they're seconds. Just ridiculous. And they got like 20 people jumping over the wall. Yeah. And there's no limit. So they're coming across the border? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. oh sh- so, Ouch. Uh, okay, so we made our predictions. Um, I guess we should talk a little about the NFL. The Some of these uh, suspensions have been handed down. Oh, Big Rich, you nailed that. gambling. Um, what You've been all over this. Yeah, one. well, you know, Jameson Williams, uh, the, the kid from Alabama that's the first-round pick for Detroit, he wasn't even betting on football. Um, you just can't bet on the, the – the rules are you can't – no personnel can make – no personnel can bet on the NFL area. They can't bet – on the road area, they can't even bet on the road. Nowhere in their hotel no. on the road, they right? Because it's still part of still the part NFL. of the NFL. Yeah. So it, it it just really they can't play. Um, it just it just doesn't make sense for those guys. Uh, they can't be on the facility and make a bet on get, on a basketball game. It makes no sense to me. So I mean, if we're gonna make uh, betting legal, like we all have, uh, we see it on every game, every show. Ever, you can't watch golf. You can't watch. They literally give you, the they give you the spread. Yeah, going. Like, so how come these guys can't enjoy a basketball game and bet on it? That doesn't oh, make any sense. Man, to me. Pete Rose mm. lost mm. the get different sport. You know, he's the, I mean, if you're betting basketball, it should be no reason why you couldn't. Um, so I think that's what James Winston only got a six game suspension. Of course, because he's a he's an all star. Right? He's a star. How player. about those other okay, uh, like the gone. same way you got a six game uh, suspension from the Tennessee third round pick of 2022, Nicholas uh, Padet Fair. He's oh. a, he's a starting right tackle. He started all uh, 16 games. Little brother, yes. that's what his name. Yes, is. and mm-hmm. then you got um, the other one was. The other ones were mostly practice squad players, but uh, Shaq and Tony um, from Washington, he, he, he's out indefinitely, so he must have done something pretty Really bad. bad. Yeah, exactly. We're not sure. The he must have bet on the A's. <laughs> yeah, no. Exactly. So, I mean, the thing is, I'll give you a secret swim. Can you bet? Can you can you do fantasy football as an NFL player? Can you bet fantasy you know football? I think that secret you swim? can't. Okay, I, I'm just gonna, you know. Well, I think I, I see players doing fantasy football. Have you watched yeah, these they, fantasy uh, football shows? They're well, actually Austin Eckler is one of them. He yeah. does it on mm-hmm. uh, on the network. We're so, not going to mention. He flat he actually okay. has a show and he talks mm-hmm. about fantasy. So football. they say fit, it is legal as long as you okay. don't make over two hundred fifty dollars. Oh jeez. So they can only have a two hundred fifty dollar limit. So that's I mean, if you're making twenty million dollars, I mean, whatever yeah. twenty two hundred fifty. That would but be tough to prove. The Dallas Cowboys, yes, uh, Dallas Bishop uh, said that. 50% of the NFL players do play fantasy football. Okay. Is that why they're always trying to get the ball? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense because it is a form of gambling. Right. Um, so why, how that's make, okay. why can't you bet a, you why can't you bet a basketball game and you can play fantasy uh, football? It doesn't make sense. Doesn't make any sense. And literally, fantasy football is individual player stats. And then, of course, like if you have yourself on your – can you have yourself on your own team? Is that like egotistical? Right. Or, yeah, sure. Hey, I would. Like if I'm a quarterback – I, and that put myself in my okay. Team. Can you okay? Did Aaron Judge bet on himself last year when he didn't Ooh. take the contract? I, I oh, think. he did yeah, bet on yeah, himself. Yeah, so how come you can't bet on yourself? He like he and he used the Giants as leverage, by the way. Aaron Judge, I'm still pissed about you. You, you never go into the Giants, man. Yeah, you just use this as leverage. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I'll give you guys the, the last sacred swim of this. Can NFL players that aren't playing in the game do squares? The, the squares from the Super Bowl? I have no idea. I sink think well. so. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't think so. I think they can. I, I, go, I go sink. Uh, I'll say swim. They can do squares. Why they not? They cannot do squares. They cannot do squares. Yeah. Out of the yeah. <laughs> so they cannot do squares. I mean, imagine you can, you're not going to play it. Why can't you get a square? I mean, it's even, unbelievable. I don't see it. I want a NFL not yeah, fun league. Yeah, We're sure. called not fun. You guys, thought the players can't have no fun league. That's a no the fun league. Good secret swims right there, man. Yeah, that's no, uh, that's good stuff right there. Well, Gator, what what can you bet on? Let's say let's say your baseball. Yeah, baseball. They can bet on. Uh, they can bet, but they can't bet on no baseball in that it does include fantasy. Okay, Nick, not anything but baseball. But yeah, that's. But they that's, can bet at, on their sites, not like the NFL. They can use the sites. Can they bet? Yeah, yeah, the facility. Yeah, yeah. But while you're working bet. out in, in Boston in your facility, you can bet a. Uh, you can bet. You can bet the the, the Duke in North Carolina game. Yes, okay. as long as you're not betting on baseball, baseball, not just major league baseball, but all baseball. That sounds ridiculous to me, though. Of course, because you can bet goes. during the team uh, at the team facility. It just can't be about your sport. Correct. Okay, but why yeah. can't we just make something a rule across the board, make it fair, and make it for all the sports? It just seems because they're all different entities. So I don't think yeah. the kids. Right. I don't think Williams should, should get a six game suspension because he was in the locker room betting on basketball. That doesn't make any sense. But it's York, in the hotel room, it should be. Yeah, if it's not the sport, yeah, they shouldn't be penalized. Good. How about the NBA? Okay, yeah, they can bet on uh, sports, but no basketball. And I'm not sure about fantasy. I was look, trying to find mm-hmm. it, but I couldn't find anything. Anything about basketball. but basketball. Right. Okay. How about hockey? Yes, they can bet on everything except for NHL events. Well, that seems pretty. You know. So basically, don't bet on your own sport. It, those well, three. The, well hockey, but sense? hockey is NHL. So if you want to bet on the Russian League, you can. If you want to bet on the Olympics, okay, you so. can. If you well, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. If you want to bet on the Olympic okay. teams, why can't you bet okay. on it? If you're American. And then, or, uh, and then NFL, not. do we have anything more to add? Patriot. Well, the, just to add to Big Richard, I mean, you pretty much covered it, but the coaches, trainers, and officials are pro- prohibited from betting at all on anything Ever. Trainers, I would assume so. An official I would assume yeah. so, right? Because, I mean, then you control the aspect yeah, of the game at that point. Well, I mean, a player still does, but as a uh, coach or referee. We go back to the 70s and 80s, yeah. Well, I'm going to the horse races. Yeah. That's nothing to do with what Oh, I'm now we're talking that? about my guy, Nicole. Mm. Uh, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to bet on those horses no matter what. Go. He's going to find a way to bet on those horses. <laughs> well, if you're an NFL player, though, man, why don't you just get somebody to make your bets for you? Well, you can't do that also. But there you, you go. You cannot but do you it can. also. Yeah, so, but you can. But you can. But you can. All right. So speaking of the NBA, um, any quick things that we want to talk right, about? We the went over a little bit on? about the moves last week, but the uh-huh. free agency this week just went crazy. Yeah. Uh, Draymond Green, he's going to stay in Golden State, and then they get Chris Paul. So you just Golden State, Golden State just got older. Mm-hmm. You know what? They wanted to get rid of Paul. He was a disturbance in the locker Jordan room. Jordan Poole was a young, upcoming know, player. Big Rich, he was a disturbance in the locker room. There was issues with him that were not being told, but certain beat reporters are mentioning that he was a nuisance disturbance in the locker room. That's and right. not well, He's going to go play for Washington now. We're going to send him out to Washington because he's a problem. That's, and you're going to take Chris Paul. How old is he? 40 years uh, old? I think and, he's like 54 or yeah, something like that. Yeah, so, yeah. And he's got like one, one good leg. Yeah. yeah. He, he plays and then he goes and plays in the over 50 softball game after the, <laughs> the thing. Gonna there ain't going to be no splashing going on. I can tell you right now that maybe maybe just dribbles. <laughs> dribbles. Well, then maybe dribbles. a couple of sponge baths. Sponge before, baths you know, going on after the game. Golden State's making horrible decisions. Chris Middleton, he's going to stay in, he, and Brock Lopez both stay, are staying in Milwaukee, so that's good for them. They're going to run it back. Yep. Why? Milwaukee is not going to They lost the first they, round, yeah. Yeah, like... <laughs> John, run it back. Be I, I just want to see. Uh, I don't want to get out of there as fast as I can. John has to start crying at the end of the uh, when he gets knocked out of the first round. Oh, uh, Jordan Mean. Okay, I'm going to give you this. Okay, pretty pretty mean. I'm going to give you my last secret swim. Golden State has no one over six ten on their roster. Oh, uh, oh, I'm going to go sink on that. I mean, swim on that one. So swim with yeah, that I'm going to go swim on that one. Yeah, the tallest player six foot nine. Yeah, because yeah. I I know the team. That's my when team you get right old, there. you shrink. They probably were six yeah. foot ten. So it is. A, it's yeah, a, yeah. they were six, six, six foot eleven. six foot nine. You're shrinking, and your nose is getting bigger. You're telling your Golden State's in for trouble this year. Get him, get him some bigger <laughs> shoes. We need a six okay. ten player. I think the Lakers did great. Uh, Lakers did one of the best yeah. off season so far. Big Joseph, nine, Austin Reeves, Bria Hachimura. 
Um, and good then job they, of getting Reese back, baby. I know, and they good got job. him at a pretty good price. Know, they went from eleven to one to thirteen to one after those. Uh, you know, they got like Gabe Vincent, Gabe Vincent, the Santa Barbara kid. Yeah, he's, he's got him as a and, 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 um, and you got uh, uh, Tevin Prince who came over and he shoots close to forty percent from three. I like so what the Lakers did. A, they, as a Warriors fan, I'm going to say this: I like what the Lakers did. Yep. No. And Damian Lillard just popped out. He wants to go to South Beach. That's the only team yeah. he's created to. Well, that's so. why they got rid of Gabe Vincent, you know? Right. Well, <laughs> I could tell you this, that uh, you, when you tell him this is the only team I want to go to, it kind of gets, puts the leverage on Miami, mm. doesn't it? If you know, yeah. okay, you know that's your only play you're going to get. So they got kind of Portland over the... I, I don't think you should have said that out yeah, loud. Yeah, just, yeah, you just know, let it happen. Yeah, but I don't know. What are you going to trade? I mean, for that kind, of, that kind of all-star player. I mean, that's... Uh, it's going to be... Uh, uh, round pick, uh, draft picks, and uh, I don't know. It's going to be insane. All right. That's so, a snap that we move on, by the way. Yeah, well, was... <laughs> snap. <laughs> That's any... You usually get that from my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I come to the show, so I don't get snapped at. Well, we got to talk a little about Wimbledon. Anything interesting happened yet? The third major of the year for tennis, besides all the chaos, Joe? Besides all the favorites winning? Why all the chaos? Uh-huh. I mean, you're, you're, you're not joking that she today he got. Well, Took this at six yeah, of the game. Yeah, six, to, six. Yeah, but I want to say this real first. How can we have third round matches going on before we even have first round matches being played? Because of all the rain. Yeah, exactly. And and that's the still, star players are you going to play get your preferential. Bracket. You have to play your two. bracket. Yeah, but, yeah, but, to, but the star players, players get to play indoors, and the uh, not so star players have to play outside, and they have to wait for the rain to stop. It's because of England. You're not going to have Joe Schmelman <laughs> on center court at Wimbledon. You're well, can't you all play there at center court? They got I, I don't know why. Time. There's, there's only, there's two, only two, yeah. only two courts have a roof over. Yeah, yeah. and the rest are in the way. So, anyways, it's besides great. all the don't chaos over there, um, um, well, as far as the guys go, Joe, I don't see anything really big. Up Nothing there. happens since there. No, a uh, favorites one. All the favorites one. Um, to the female side. It's the female good. side. Coco, she had a terrible, terrible time. She's out in the first round. Coco, uh, uh, lost I, I actually saw that match. Well, oh, but, and it was really she sad. was struggling. Yeah, she was struggling. Like you could tell oh. her body action and movements. Kennan is uh, Sophia Kennan is no mm-hmm. slouch. She won the 2020 Australian Open, and so she's actually won a major. But she's come on some hard times the last couple of years, and she's just coming back. Mm-hmm. And they both, I thought, yeah, she's like pretty well. Twenty one or something. She won it. She's like twenty four yeah. now or something. Something like that. Yeah. So uh, that's impressive. Venus, Venus was out right away too. Yeah, but, but I, she, she, she was playing good. And then she slipped. Mm-hmm. And she hurt her knee. That's always a good excuse. Oh, yeah. that's an excuse too. I mean, get off of it, Serena uh, Venus Williams. I'm yeah, sorry. Oh, come on, Venus. she's been playing for twenty. Yeah, years. give her a break, man. Give her a break. <laughs> give her a break. <laughs> give her a break. <laughs> Great. Like using another like, twenty three years, years taping it up. Like, come on, man. She's she's a baller. She could play. She just got outplayed. Okay? She, it was her twenty fourth Wimbledon. And she's, and she's gonna. She's forty three years old. She's more susceptible to injuries, yeah. of course. And, and she's still younger than Chris Paul. <laughs> oh, 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 nice man. Um, but I, I think she's going to retire after this year. Uh, she should. Uh, her sister did. Her younger yeah. sister. Yeah, uh, and I think Venus is. Um, she had a great run though, there. man. Both sisters, great run, great players to watch. Hmm. But please don't. I, I'm tired of like certain networks just the knee, the knee, the knee, the fall. I mean, come on. Man, she just got. Good. She got outplayed. Go. It's well. I mean, the Russians and Belarusians are playing again this year. Oh yeah. So, yeah. so that's going to make it a. Tougher tournament. To oh, Sabalinka. We got a boogie. Oh, yes. So we're not changing our picks. Djokovic no, is no, 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 no. So we're sticking we're with that. There. They haven't lost. No. So um, I guess it's time to... Uh, yeah, so you got host. The Ready? First, cue cue you know, the intro. Oh, okay, cue the, fine. Cue the bumper. You got host. Okay. Well, you he knows he has to pay us overtime. We've been doing this for two and a half hours. The producers lose the money. Lose money. Go. We're good. Yeah. Who's, who's up first? Oh, I'll go. No problem. Because someday uh, Mexico is playing guitar in a Gold Cup match, and Mexico's never played guitar. They never played each other. But uh, Mexico was at a minus three hundred, Joe, on a three way. Of course. Uh, if you went two way, they'd had to win by two goals. So, anyways, twenty uh, seventh minute. Guitar scores a goal, a 10-yard header. But here's the kicker, Joe. That was the only shot on goal Guitar had the whole game. Mexico had zero saves to Guitar six saves. Mexico had eight corners to Guitar zero corners. Wow. So this game was played in Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, Joe. So I would have to say that this was pretty much a home game for Mexico. Yep. 
So I'd have to say that if you Are you didn't... saying it's a home game because there's Mexicans there? Or are you saying that they're close to Mexico? It was a home game because it sounded like they were in Mexico. Okay, okay. I don't know what Cutter is doing in this tournament. They, they're they clear across the whole freaking world. Yeah, yeah, it's all about money, money baby. Money. money pays it. That's great. But anyways, if you took... I'm still mad at Guitar for not letting us drink beer. You did take Mexico off, off and they, You got That's one. crazy. Mexico had zero saves and <laughs> lost. And lost. One That's shot on goal. One shot on goal, Joe. And eight, cor- eight corners, Joe, you think you get one yeah. out of those eight? Wow. Oh, you guys are going to love my You Got Host story. I yep, it. It's yesterday's Nathan's Hot Dog oh, Contest. I see one more wiener going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be here and win. Of course, uh, Joey Joss Chestnut won again. Eight eight consecutive and 15th out of 16. Everyone knew he was going to win. He went off at minus 4,000. I mean, ridiculous. What do you got to bet? 4,000? He's a big winner. He's a big winner. <laughs> big winner. He's a big winner. <laughs> Biggest winner there. <laughs> You got about forty dollars in order to win a dollar. That was yeah. But what people really wanted to see was a record. Uh, Two years ago, Joey ate seventy-six hot dogs in ten minutes. Uh, No, he ate seventy-five. But if you bought that at a football game, how much would that cost him? Uh, Quite a bit. Uh, Two million (laughs) dollars. But anyway, seventy-six hot dogs. The over and under under this year was seventy-two and a half. Uh Delay uh, weather delayed the start. It seemed to. Weather delayed a hot dog eating yeah. contest? How can, the you, rain. how can you race? How can you race a race car in the rain, but you can't eat a hot dog in the rain? Okay, I'm sorry, Joe. Please get after they talk about the like water on their hot dog. Well, they're they're not, not, <laughs> not all of them. It's not Joe's fault. It's not Joe's fault. Not all of them. <laughs> Sometimes they use lemonade or something. But anyway, I do. So that delayed it. Oh. Oh. They weren't even sure they were ever going to do the contest because of the weather. They don't have umbrellas. No dinner right. for me, honey, tonight. But uh, two hours later, uh, they did, yeah, but Joey's timing was way out of sorts. He stepped only 62 down. That's it. Got uh, way, way under. All right, way under. But uh, last year, his training was interrupted by a broken leg, COVID, and the loss of his mom. And during the competition, an animal rights activist actually protested and disrupted him as he was eating and chestnut put him in a head headlock the last year mom, i can understand yes but broken leg you can still eat a hot dog yeah. uh, well it was his training that got well covid he couldn't taste them <laughs> uh, he got 63 hot dogs uh, that day so 62 and 63 that's pretty good but fans want more hot enough dogs. of the distractions yes. distractions joey says 77 is doable things have to go smoothly but hopefully they do but anyone who expected a record any of the last two years, uh, or even the over 72 and a half, they got hosed. I think anybody that watched it, you just hosed yourself. I, th- I think we need to have think- an indoor hot dog stadium. Oh, this yeah, building. Like- <laughs> what a Wimbledon <laughs> next year. Go inside and win the Wimbledon. Put a Vegas. Uh, Vegas. Vegas. I'd say there hasn't, 2. Been, billion. there hasn't been 77 hot dog uh, wieners eaten since somebody was at the, the Mount House. But uh, let's move on to my guy you had hosed. Uh, okay, Chris. I had Chris Bell at. 12 to 1 odds. Ooh, Great street racer. Right. Uh, he has his only win on the road course this year. Or, uh, it was actually a uh, road. road course. Yeah. So I figured that's a pretty good bet. So I'll put 20 on that. And mm-hmm. uh, he won the first phase. Out front, never. Way in front of everybody. He won the second phase. Good job. Good. I'm on my way. So, oh, it was so now, all of a sudden, I think we still have 50 more laps or something. And I go to the bathroom and I come back out. And Chris Bell's in 18th place. Wow. And... We only got 24 more laps to go, and I'm like, "What happened? Why is there only 20 laps?" Because, like you said, they cut, they cut it down by 20 some, and then he went had to get gas and tires. He came out, and he was in that 50, that lap that 14, 50 at 14. Michigan, and he got caught up in the middle. That's when he went from he was in 12th after his mm-hmm. pit stop. He ended up going all the way to 18th, trying to make up more time. Goes into the tires. Uh, so you know, this, we're doing really good. He, he had the best car, car sure and I got hosed. I should have won that. I won the first two phases, and all of a sudden, NASCAR wants to change the rules. We're going to only race 77 times. I totally got hosed. I want my 23 more laps. You should have them. My you got hosed is I went to make you know a wager, and I was like, dude, I feel good. It's a street race. I'm taking Dominic Toretto. I didn't even qualify. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. You can't win if you don't qualify. <laughs> yeah, it's a fast and curious. Do they still? <laughs> uh, I say, do they still take your money? <laughs> Vegas always takes money. Yeah, no matter what. <laughs> no refund. Even though you can still take St. Louis Cardinals to win it all right now. They'll take your money if you want that. <laughs> all right. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we did.
You got hoes. I guess that's it for the show, guys. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Welcome back, Big Rich. Good to have him in the studio. Yeah, no doubt. Joe the Answer Ellison, Gator Gates, Big Richard Martin, and I am uh, just uh, the nobody. So, we end the show. Anything you guys want to add? Just thank uh, Rock and Ronnie McKinnon again. Thank you, Rock and Ronnie. Also, you know, the butcher, you know. He always comes up with stuff. So He's going to come up with some stuff next week. Perfect. I love it. He always comes up with good stuff. So we'll see you guys uh, next time and uh, jump on our website. We're going to get some articles going there for you guys. Um, We're working. Our our staff is working hard on that. So we'll give you some more information. See you next week. You've been listening to Covering the Field. Email us at coveringthefield at gmail.com for all your comments or questions. Find us on Twitter at Covering Field. And of course, always check out the website for our picks of the week and updated articles. Coveringthefield.com.